guns. Why is licensing guns the solution? Well, first of all, it's evidence-based. We know it works in states like Connecticut that have done it. They have seen 40% drops in gun violence, 15% drops in suicide rates. Corey, you can't claim Connecticut's 40% drop in gun homicides is because of gun licensing. There's been a 49% drop in gun homicides across the country since 93. Hell, Texas gun homicides went down 40% after passing concealed carry and having no license requirement. Can you say false attribution? But this is a bigger issue in America where we're not uh, approaching it or taking it on in proportion to the gravity of the consequences of our inaction. Every day in America, we have in the aggregate a mass shooting, ripping apart communities, over 100 people dying of gun violence. Did you just say every day there's a mass shooting in this country? Every day? Corey, there were a total of 20 mass shootings in 2018. There are 365 days in a year. I'm gonna assume you misspoke. Maybe you meant one mass shooting a month, and even that's not true, based purely on the numbers. Even if it was true, how does your gun licensing scheme stop mass shootings? Even your example state of Connecticut had one of the worst mass shootings in this country's history. And that was while they had your style of gun licensing laws in place. Uh, we form governments to protect for the common defense. And here we have in my lifetime, uh, more people being killed by gun violence in every single war in our country's history from the Revolutionary War now combined. Corey, of course more people have died from gun violence than there have from the Revolutionary War and all wars combined. That's because they're killing themselves. Over 60% of gun deaths in this country are suicides. But I love the way you made it sound like it's from people shooting other people. And no, getting rid of guns won't make the suicide rate go down. Because if that were the case, the United States would be leading the world in suicides. But we don't. We're not even at the top. Places like Japan, who where you can't even own a firearm, have almost double the suicide rate. One of the pushbacks is you license guns, you make it more difficult for the honorable gun owner to get there, uh, to engage in their Second Amendment right, and the people who want to get guns and shoot each other in the street are going to do it anyway you know, because uh, no one enforces the law. Uh, that kind of resignation uh, frustrates me, to be honest, because we know that this is not a plan that any law-abiding gun owner should be concerned about. The people that should be concerned about it are two groups. One, people who want to break the law, gun runners and criminals, and... Corey, the reason that kind of resignation frustrates you is because it's true, and you don't have a response for it. Your licensing requirement is not meant to save lives. It's meant to be an unnecessary obstacle to those exercising their fundamental right, i.e. making gun ownership so hard and expensive, most people won't be able to do it thus creating an elite class of people who can own guns while the criminals continue to get their guns on the black market like they always have and completely bypass any punitive gun licensing requirements that you may dream up. Don't believe me? Look at the state of New Jersey where he's from. No one there has a right to carry. New Jersey has the same licensing scheme and New Jersey has made it even harder and made it more expensive over the years just to acquire this license and the gun manufacturers who have been working with in an ungodly way to undermine the safety and security of this nation, really attacking everything from consumer product safety to the CDC's ability to research these issues uh, to even uh, the ATF, which is starved by Congress and its inability to even enforce the laws we have. Corey, you're so full of it, it makes my brain hurt. You and your anti-gun cohorts for years have tried to destroy the gun industry and the Second Amendment, mind you, through lawsuits, Congress, and yes, even the CDC. And you have the audacity to say that it's the gun industry that's attacking you. Really? They're not attacking you. They're defending their Second Amendment rights. They're defending their industry from people like you who think that only the elite should have access to guns while the subjects that you see yourselves ruling over sit at the mercy of all the criminals like sheep. You are certainly no stranger, Corey, to gun violence in the city of Newark. And I think most people in the country thought after the Newtown shooting, the gun laws would change. After Parkland, the gun laws would change. Nothing people say has changed. Why do you think that this is going to make a difference now? Well, first of all, most well, politicians even stay away from this issue because it's such a hot button issue. Well, I can't stay away from this issue because this is not some policy issue out there. This is an everyday experience to people like me and people, folks in my community. I had a young man die from an assault rifle attack yes, last year. Just a couple of days ago, three people shot in my neighborhood. And I'm not unique. 
This is happening all over the country, ripping apart communities. And that's why I'm going to be a president that, that this is not thoughts and prayers. Faith without works is dead. I'm going to bring a fight to this issue in a comprehensive manner like the NRA has never seen before. There's an urgency in my life that a lot of Americans are feeling who are afraid to go to their houses of worship, afraid to let their kids go to school. There's an urgency that I feel on this issue that is very personal to me, having witnessed uh, uh, the, the consequences of our inaction, and we are gonna fight and we are gonna win. You can sit on that set looking wide-eyed and fake mad all you want. At the end of the day, I know your true goal is to create a police state where the people have no Second Amendment rights and are solely dependent on the government for their safety. You all but basically say that in this interview. A government that has proven time and time again that when it matters, they can't be there to protect the lives of everyday people, especially everyday people living in the worst parts of this country. It's ridiculous, man. You need to get it together, or at least stop with all the fakery. It's getting old. What's going on, folks? This is Coleon Noir. If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button that should be located on the bottom left portion of the screen. I mean, come on, who are you fooling? I know you want to.